after all those years for what I had been through. Did you ever thought of me even better than ever? Well, now I am. There's no telling what I have been up to. No, there is no telling what. But you will see. Let's go, go, go on a brand new adventure. Let's go, go, go explore with Thomas and his friends. Let's go, go, go and meet new friendly faces. The adventure is a train ride away. Tommy and Trackmaster TNF. Tommy and Trackmaster TNF. Tommy and Trackmaster TNF. Edward moved to Arlstale End? Oh no! I feel so bad! Being with Stephen was a bit much! I sort of miss the inspection, the contest, everything! I'll have to owe Edward an apology! Why don't we meet up with Edward at the quarry tomorrow? Or you can stop at Arlstale End in the narrative machetes. <gasps> Still end is just next door. <sighs> A new shed for Toby. After a bit of faint from hearing the news about Edward, the inspection, the contest, and everything else, Emily steamed over to Arlsdale End. Edward! Oh, thank goodness I found you! I heard from the engines at Tidma Sheds that Molly and Charlie had moved to Tidma Sheds! And you moving to Arlsdale End! I miss everything yesterday from being with Stephen! I'm sorry, Edward. I didn't mean to leave you and the others for the inspection feeling sad. Forgive me? Please? I forgive you, Emily, but I'm starting to get used to being with Toby. It's just only one night Edward slept outside. I slept fine and well in my shed. Tonight, Edward, you can sleep in my shed. I'll sleep outside. No! Toby can't sleep outside! You should come back to Titmus Sheds, Edward! Toby can sleep back in his shed! I'm sure Molly and Charlie can go back to Napford Sheds! Sorry, Emily, but now that Molly and Charlie are part of the STEAM team and are staying in Tedma Sheds, I've decided to be with Toby. Well, couldn't either you two ask Sir Topham how to change this around? Well, he said that's fine with him if Edward wants to move to Arlsdale End. That was Edward's permission. Edward? Wait! Maybe not either you two. I'll be right back. Oh, it's okay. There's no need to rush. But as Emily hurried to Napford Station, she thought about something. What if it rains later tonight? What if it gets cold? Will there be a storm on the way? I don't know, Emily. I'll have to check on the radio to hear the weather report about tonight. After we get to Napford. But when Emily arrived at Napford, Sir Topham Hatt was not there. The station master explained to Emily's driver Sir Topham Hatt had gone home for dinner. He also explained the weather report he heard from the radio and turned to go home as well. Well, if that doesn't take the biscuit with extra butter, there's going to be a rain shower tonight. They want everyone to stay in their homes and get cozy, warm, and dry. You'll have to stay here for the night, Emily. I gotta go home now. Oh no! Toby will be sleeping outside his shed tonight! 
We got to bring him here quick! I'm sorry, Emily. I don't think there's enough time to do that. Uh... By nightfall, the rain pelted down and it grew a bit cold. Emily couldn't sleep that night. She was still worried about Toby. That cold, rainy night, Toby shivered as the rain streamed down on him. Oh, b -b 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 bother! Edward was glad to be tucked in for the night, but he was worried about Toby, too. Toby, are you frozen wet out there? Toby's reply was drowned by the rain and the cold temperature. The next morning, the rain had gone, and Emily steamed back to Arlesdale End. Everywhere all over the island was wet, wet, wet. When Emily arrived at Arlesdale End, she gasped. <gasps> Toby! Are you alright? <sniffs> no, I'm sick. It wasn't a peaceful night for Toby last night. It had been raining all night. Toby got cold, and now he's feeling sick. <sighs> oh, the sickness! <coughs> Emily felt bad. She wanted to help Toby. Come on, Toby. I'll shunt you to the steamworks so you can get better. I'll do some of your work for you. Oh, thanks, Edward. <coughs> no sooner Edward and Toby had gone, Emily had an idea. There's only one shed, and there's Edward and Toby. Another shed will be added as a surprise for either one of them. Emily quickly hurried to Napper Station and told Sir Topham Hatt about her idea. A splendid idea, Emily. I'll send some engineers to get started right away. Emily collected some workmen along with freight cars of building supplies and took them all to Arlesdale End. Then she watched as the work began. It took all day. But at last, the other shed was complete. Sir Topham Hatt was most impressed. Well done, Emily. Bring Toby here to Arlesdale End. I'll send Edward over here. Yes, sir. Toby felt much better by the time Emily arrived at the Steamworks. She told Toby to come to Arlesdale End with her. When they arrived, Edward was already there. He looked very delighted. The other shed looks amazing! Well, bust my cow catchers! A spare shed for me or Edward? It's for the both of you! Whichever shed will be, either of you two can sleep in. Oh, thank you, Emily. You're the best. Yeah, thanks, Emily. <sighs> now I wish I found myself a place to stay. But wherever at? Well, I could think of one thing for you. You can stay with Stephen at Natford Sheds. <gasps> you think so, Edward? Yes, Emily. And our old friends are still our friends. Friends stick together to the end. They can be with us no matter what. <sighs> That's a thoughtful advice, Edward. Ask Sir Topham Hatt if you can stay at Natford Sheds. 
I'm sure Arthur, Neville, and the others won't mind having you to be with them. Oh, right. <laughs> of course. Bye, Edward. Bye, Toby. What makes you think that Emily can stay with Stephen at Natford Sheds? Well, it's quite a story. Let me tell you about it. Ever since Stephen came to Sodor along with Glynn on board Hero, Emily has still secret feelings for Stephen. So she asked me to help her with some advice.